हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ल्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हैंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स वी आर ऑन द वर्ल्ड प्रेस डैश बोर्ड एंड वी आर बैक विद अनदर फीचर सीरीज and in this video we will talk about some important features of subscriptions for woocommerce pro plugin so let's quickly start with this short feature video so let's quickly hover on wp swings and let's click on subscriptions for woocommerce so we are on the back end settings of subscriptions for woocommerce pro plugin and in this video i will discuss only some important features of this plugin and if you want to watch the complete video on the different functionalities of this plugin so we have mentioned the link in the description content so you can watch it from there so let's firstly start with the general settings so here as you can see that the very first field is uh, like uh, allow customers to cancel the subscription so with this plugin if the admin wants to allow the customers to cancel the subscription like if the admin wants to allow the customers to cancel their subscription so from here the admin can easily enable this and click on save settings so this will let the customers cancel their subscription any time so for this let's go to the shop page and we are on the my account section and here let me click on subscriptions so here as you can see that this is particularly uh, one of the subscriptions here so let me click on show so as you can see that the option of cancel is coming here because from the back end we have enabled this functionality so from here the the customers can easily cancel this subscription and the subscription will be cancelled from the customers end like if i suppose if i will disable this and click on save settings and now let me refresh this so as you can see that the cancel button has disappeared so this is how you can easily allow this functionality as per your requirements so now let us move to advanced settings so now let's see the next functionality that is ability to pause the subscription for a certain time by customer so in this plugin you will also get the functionality by which you can enable this if you want to allow your customers like if you want to give the functionality of pausing the subscription for a certain time from the customer end so simply you have to enable this functionality and you have to click on save settings and if you want to also allow like ability to start paused subscription by customers so from here you can do it like uh, if the customer has paused any subscription and if this uh, field is enabled so they, it will let the customers to also start that paused subscription so let me show you how this will work so once these field are enabled and let me click on save settings and when i will go here and let me refresh this so here as you can see that the option of pause is coming here because from the back end we have enabled this so let me click on pause so as you can see that the disclaimer has come subscription paused successfully so this is because uh, because from the back end we have enabled and the customers uh, and the customers can easily pause their subscription for a certain time if they want so let's suppose so as you can see that here it is and when i will scroll down so as you can see that the option of reactivate is coming here because from the back end we have also enabled this field uh, like ability to start paused subscription by customer so if this field is disabled and now let me click on save settings and here when i will refresh this so as you can see that the option of reactivate has disappeared because from the back end we have disabled this functionality so this is how you can uh, enable these two fields to allow the customers to pause a subscription for a certain time by customers and you can also allow your customers to start that post subscription again by the customers end so from here you can easily configure these functionalities now let's move to next field that is ability to accept manual payment for subscription so basically uh, it means like you can allow like cash on delivery or bank transfer so basically uh, we have added this so that uh, for the admin he can check whatever the subscription he has created it is working or not so from here you can enable this functionality to allow or accept the manual payment like if this field is enabled and let me click on save settings and now let me go to shop page and here let me click on shop and here let me add one of the uh, subscription and let me click on view cart and here let me proceed to check out so here as you can see that two options are coming like direct bank transfer and cash on delivery so this is coming because these functionalities have been enabled so let me uh, like disable this and let me click on save settings so now let's again go back to the shop page and let me refresh this uh, so as you can see that the two options that were cash on delivery 
and bank transfer they have disappeared because from the back end we have disabled this functionality so from here you can easily enable it and check your subscription whether they are working correctly or not so from here you can easily enable this functionality to accept manual payment for subscription next if uh, next field is if you want to like uh, enable the functionality to send subscription is going to expire email notification so from here you can enable this and here you can configure the number of days before subscription is going to expire like suppose uh, if the uh, if the customer has taken one of your subscription and it is going to expire in the next month and it is ex it is going to expire on 28th so if if you have written like two days before so on the 26th an email expire notification will be sent to the customers like their ex uh, their subscription is going to expire on that particular date so from here you can easily configure it and now let me show you how the mail will be uh, received by the customers so as you can see that this is how the customer will be getting this mail of subscription is going to expire like here it is written your subscription is going to expire soon and here the subscription details will be mentioned so this is how with this plugin you can also inform your customers about their subscription expiry so that they can get to know at which time their subscription is going to expire so that they can renew the subscription of that particular uh, product or services they have availed so let's again go back and now let us discuss a next feature that is ability to upgrade or downgrade variable subscription so you must have seen that uh, one option was coming uh, in the subscription product that was upgrade and downgrade so we are on the my account section and here are the subscription details so firstly let's reactivate this so the subscription has been reactivated successfully so as you can see that the option of upgrade and downgrade is also coming here so basically uh, it is only applicable for the variable products like if i will go to shop page and here as you can see that this is one of the variable products so let me click on add to cart so here as you can see that there are three options like basic premium and gold so suppose let's suppose if uh, someone has purchased basic so if they want to upgrade on that so they can uh, directly upgrade once they have purchased the subscriptions like this uh, i have purchased the basic plan like as you can see that so the option of upgrade will be coming here so let me click on this so as you can see that the customers can easily upgrade to the next plan like that is premium or diamond or whatever plan that are available for the upgrade and when i will click on add to cart so as you can see that this is how the uh, customers can easily upgrade or downgrade the plan and here the automatically the amount will be adjusted accordingly and here let me again go back to the my account and here let me click on subscriptions and here uh, let me click on and here let me click on show and here you can also see that the uh, text is coming as upgrade and downgrade this is because from the back end we can also customize this text like what the text we want to show on that button like here it is written upgrade and downgrade so same it is coming here so this is how you can allow this functionality uh, like ability to upgrade or downgrade variable subscription so if i will disable this and let me click on save settings and now let me refresh this so as you can see that the option of upgrade and downgrade has disappeared so this is how you can easily allow this functionality to your customers to upgrade or downgrade uh, the variable subscriptions that they have purchased now let's scroll down and here as you can see that uh, next field is like allow multiple quantities on subscription product like if you want to uh, allow the multiple quantities on subscription product so from here you can easily enable this and if you want to allow the customers to add multiple subscription in cart so with this plugin you can also allow this functionality like if the customers want to add the multiple subscriptions uh, from your store so from here you can easily enable this so the customers will be able to add multiple subscription in cart as well as if you want to allow the customers to add multiple quantities of that particular subscription so from here you can easily enable this like uh, once these fields are enabled and let me click on save settings and now let me go to shop page and let me click on shop so here uh, let me click any of this subscription and here let me click on this and let me click on view card so as you can see that the three uh, three different subscription have been added and here you can also update the quantity too so as you can see that this is how you can add multiple quantities of particular subscription as well as you can also allow to add multiple subscriptions in the cart by the customer so from here you can easily enable these functionalities as per your requirements so now let me explain you one more uh, functionality so for this let me go to product section and click on all products so let me click uh, let me click on any of the so we are on the product section 
and here let me click on one time subscription so with this subscriptions for woocommerce pro plugin we have also provided the functionality of one time subscription uh, so that you can facilitate your customers to provide a subscriptions uh, that the customer has to pay the price only one time so let's scroll down and here you have to click on subscription settings and here you can see that the option is there like subscriptions price for one time purchase so from here the admin can easily enable this functionality and here he can decide the one time purchase price so here the admin can decide the one time purchase price uh, like let's suppose i have decided 200 and here one more thing you have to keep in mind like you have to set the one time purchase amount that will be greater than the subscription price otherwise this functionality will not work so once you have done all this you have to click on update so now let's view the product so as you can see that this is the product that we have created or you have selected like one time subscription so here the customer can easily choose like if he wants to go for the subscription or he has to purchase the one time subscription from here so this is how you can create the one time subscription or provide the functionality of one time subscription to your customers as per your requirements so let's again go back so this was all about the important features of subscriptions for woocommerce pro plugin the links to the product have been mentioned in the video's description you can check and get all the details and for any doubt you can contact us anytime and if you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionalities so you can mention your queries in the comment section and if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest update related to our channel until the next video stay connected with us thank you